All right, we're messing around, and uh, we've got um, a 9XA from Max Miller going here, and um, we've done a few modifications that we've picked up uh, from other people. One is we added a 10K and a 1K pot to both the gate and to the frequency. Real professional stuff here, they're hanging off the table. So uh, we've got our bridge rectifier sitting right there and to eliminate some losses we've clipped the leads from this Variac directly to the, uh, to the bridge rectifier. And then we've got our whatever the diode thing is there. We're not real technically uh, proficient here. Uh, we've got two E cores. We've got one wrapped right here, and we've got another one wrapped, and it's sitting right there. And we've put both E cores in series, so one is after the other. And then we've got kind of a skanky bottle of uh, water that we've had for a while here. And inside we've got uh, our stainless steel tube. And sorry that the water is so dirty and everything, but this, we've been running this for a while. Um, and we've got, I think, four tubes inside there. So we've got like a one inch, a three quarter inch, a half inch, and like a three eighths space with power to the inside and the outside of each tube. And this is the amount of hydrogen that it's producing. And that looks like a lot. That looks like a lot. But, oh, and one other thing that we have here that's kind of cool is we have an AM radio on approximately 620, and we dropped it in between the two E cores. So that noise that you hear is the frequency going off. So we're playing around with it, and, you know, we keep trying different things. And we're at, I don't know, a little less than 60 volts, and we're at about 4 amps right now. And it looks like pretty good gas production. I mean, it, you know, really is rolling in there. But watch this and hold this on there now. So I have no idea why this is happening, but I have no idea why this is happening. But when I touch one of the pots with my hand, it it's j just changing. The frequency and, and and it makes that sound and at that point it really starts to go and so we think that's the sound we're looking for and I can't tune it all I do is move the wires on the pots a little bit and it takes off and I mean it's pretty good production as it is but so at that point it's cranking and I wish I could tell you why but I can't I can't even tune it if I move my other hand is holding the wire if I move, it stops. But boy, is that really going. It, it's, it's cranking. And it's, it's kind of what we've been looking for and haven't really been able to achieve. Um, and we don't know how much of that is, you know, it's, you know, less 50 to 60 volts and we're at four, four and a half watt, uh, amps. So we're 240 watts going into that. But, so some of that could be hot water. But there's got to be an awful lot of hydrogen in there. So, thanks for watching. Play King.